In this video, we're going to talk about pneumatic cylinders and valves. All right, so here on this first slide, we have um, a single acting cylinder, which is either normally extended or normally retracted. And we only have one input for the pneumatic pipe. Um, for the bottom one, it's normally retracted. That's the more common design. Uh, if we put an air supply onto the pipe, it'll extend the cylinder. If we take it off, the spring will bring it back. The next type of cylinder, which is also very common, is a double acting cylinder with no spring. Otherwise very similar, except that it's got two input connections. Um, so we need an air supply at the back to push it out and another air supply at the front to put it back. Another type of cylinder is called a rodless cylinder and this doesn't have a rod sticking out. It's normally for, for much longer lengths that you want to move a component and um, still double acting. Then we have rotary actuators. This is a type of cylinder which moves a shaft in a rotary direction. This is um, it's not, it's different to a motor in that it doesn't continuously rotate, it just rotates at a certain angle and then it stops and it rotates back. Typically used to switch um, valves in a pipeline on and off. So these are just a number of examples of cylinders from the Festo catalogue. As you can see, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. And Festo uses a certain designation on the cylinder to indicate all the information about the cylinder, the type, the piston diameter, the stroke, it has got cushioning, type of connections, etc.